Even though it's different today, I want people to understand what it was like back then. I mean, it was, if they think, you know, it was never harder than it was in the beginning. It's, what is this mysterious thing that is in, in who? Do I have it? It was pretty unbelievable to imagine that uh, there was a cancer that was somehow related to homosexuality. We all thought that was absurd. And this was like, there was no name for the disease. There were, all these people weren't out of the closet. There were no drugs for these people. There was no research. Totally hopeless. And, and people were unbelievably focused. When you violate the laws of nature, you violate the laws of nature's God. And uh, like driving faster than 55 miles an hour, uh, you pay the fare. I can't tell you how sad I am to see all of us getting together yet again. And we will be doing so again and again. It is appalling that in the seventh year of this epidemic, nobody is in charge. There's nothing about AIDS that isn't political. It's the most political disease that ever came down the, the pike. Right. Healthcare is right! Healthcare is right! Prevention justice is attacking prevention and all the root disparities, not just to call them. It's going to take some rent exchange to stop HIV. A lot of people have died as a result of our inability to say, no, I'm talking to you. Imagine if the World Trade Center towers took 25 years to come down. In many communities, we're missing the point here.